Hello and welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel folks, Clyde Lindsay from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. It is Friday, the best day of the week for many of us, and I hope you are ready to have a wonderful weekend. Guys, I have something that I want to uh, kind of walk through. Some of the things that are in x lights that I absolutely get the very most annoyed with. And let me tell you, these two things have really pushed my buttons, and it's time that I let it be known. I'm pretty sure you're 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 kind of interested in what I have to say that I hate about X lights. What I dislike about X lights. Well, it's not that I dislike X lights. It is totally that there's little things that happen in X lights, and I'm sure you're aware of some of them too. Things that just like oh, why did they do this or. Um, there's just ways that you have to deal with things in X lights. So, uh, one of the things that I want to share with you that annoyed me at first was timing track. This kind of is annoying, but if you come over here and let's say you wanted to right click and you wanted to rename the timing track, but what what if you accidentally, instead of hit rename timing track and you hit delete timing track and you're like, yeah, confirm delete. Oh my God. I have no timing track. What do I do? Well, there really isn't much of a recourse because uh, the way that I always thought about adding timing tracks in X lights, it was always hover over the timing track, right click and uh, um, add new timing. But there is no option for adding a new timing after you've deleted the all, one and only timing track that's available in X lights for you to mess around with. So. I want to show you the one thing that I learned that is your way around this kind of a backup. And this is hidden. This is, I, 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 you, you don't even think about this, but if you hit the sequence settings icon all the way at the top there, you go to timings. If we go to the timing grid, now we can go ahead and click on add new timing. And here, this gives us our drop down and our ability to go through any of the number of timing tracks that X Lights has pre built into them, or if you've installed the Audacity uh, or Queen Mary Vampire plugins, excuse me, and there are a number of them. If you go to uh, the xlights.org website and go to the download page, there is a link to the download that you can install this and have all of these crazy. Uh, timing tracks and so forth but if you don't have an empty timing track you can add one here we can call this new timing and poof your new timing is back you can select it you can right click on it and here it is you can mess around with all of the options for timing that were in X lights originally and maybe if you had uh, accidentally deleted one of your timing tracks, now you have a way to go back and retrieve it. Or if you, <laughs> you, want, you want to do it the long way, you can always go back in here to sequence settings, timings, add a new timing. You don't have to use the right click menu. There's a long form way to do it. But it's an option. It's there. It's something that you need to learn about. So next what I want to do is I'm going to play with a timing track because I want to share something else with you that absolutely really, really annoys the crap out of me whenever it comes to X lights. And I, I absolutely, this is, it's probably my fault. It's probably my fault. I should, I should remember I click a button or did something. I should remember this, but it just annoys me. And I really, really need to get this off my chest. So if we go in and we right click and we add a timing track, I'm going to do this real quick and I'm going to do the beats timing track. So we always, I always use beats. Beats is very helpful. Um, I'm going to use the default settings and it created a beach track for this MP3. So here is when, whenever you have like a, a timing track like this, um, let's, let's just play the music. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is sometimes whenever there's a real good solid hard beat, I love just putting that on the floodlights to fade on fade down. And sometimes I'll do something simple. Maybe I'll do something simple like what I'll do is I will uh, do this on the roof outlines. And I have in my groups, I have a, a roof upper and a roof lower. So if, if you have two different roof lines, this is one of the things I like to do. 
I like to place the, uh, let's say the on effect, and we'll grab the on effect, and I like to put it on the roof lower. Now, one of the options in the on effect is a start intensity and an end intensity. And I, I like to, to dim it down the whole way. So whenever you're doing this exactly to the beat of the music, let me, let me shorten this so it's a little bit more quick. And then I also like to do this opposite of the other roof. So if we do something like this, you can see the bounce of one roof. And, and then I can go ahead and I can copy this and I can go every other beat would go to the upper versus the down. And this is just something that I like to do. Like this isn't hard to figure out on your own. Uh, anybody who's sequencing can figure out how to use the on and the fade out effect. I mean, there's different ways that you could do this. But if we watch this, you can see how it bounces back and forth between the two. Now, there's this wonderful option called paste by time up, up there, up there. <laughs> and paste by cell. Paste by cell is probably one of uh, the most useful tools that you can imagine when you have timing marks in your sequencing and X lights can look at the timing marks and it can gauge, hey, this effect is this long, make it last this long equidistance between all of the timing marks. So if I wanted to copy and paste this and let's say I had all of these timing marks and I wanted to start exactly on the timing mark I would use the paste by cell if I click paste by cell and I come over here and I right click I select the box where I wanted to start like I want to repeat my pattern here and I right click and I hit paste again you can see it all starts exactly out but one of the things that you're going to notice is that whenever it pastes by cell it averages out the exact time between each one of these events here from here to here and it may not exactly line up with where a timing mark is but it averages it out see here's where the timing mark is but it's slightly stretched over just a little bit this is using a different frames per second but x lights is shoehorning that equidistance from the copied cell which is this copied cell right here so this is an actual timing mark right here but whenever you paste it with a paste by cell it doesn't create that 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 um, that that perfect on the line where it it should be it should snap to it now if you touch it it will automatically snap to the correct timing mark closest to it you don't have to worry about this it's still gonna do it from here to here or here to here does it really matter no it doesn't but here's here's the downer here's the downer if you don't use paste by cell and you use paste by time and let's for example say that these timing marks are not exactly the same they look the same but at, again x lights and, and the the audacity vampire plugin is averaging where that beat should start um if we copy and paste that again let's zoom in here and we'll paste it again look what happens whenever they're not exactly the same so whenever you paste by time it's it's using the physical time that is between here and here and it's laying it down for the exact length that you made that timing for but it doesn't true it up where you have this blank space in between here at the very beginning this blank space here so this is the difference between copy and uh, copy and paste by time versus copy and paste by cell so now you might be wondering why am I so frustrated with the way that the paste by cell or paste by timing uh, really works well it's 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 very simple I am left-handed okay I use mouse with my left hand I'm right-handed last video that I shared with you guys I am very much tuned in to using the key bindings I'm tuned into using different uh, keyboard shortcuts and working inside X lights so my right hand obviously uh, and like if by all rights your left hand if you're right-handed uh, your left hand is free to move about the keyboard and push certain keys in order to get shortcuts to work very well for you and your use cases well, here's what happens whenever I'm hot and heavy into sequencing. And I'm listening to this music. And I'm thinking, I'm listening to this music and I'm thinking to myself, what is it that 
I need to add to a, a, another part of the show. Where do I need to add something different? So in my head, the first thing that comes out right now whenever I'm listening to this with you guys is, you know what, I need to put lightning on the column matrices because it's a very electrical song. You know, I can see lightning going on it. So let me go grab the lightning effect. Well, I don't grab the lightning effect. Quite frankly, what I grab is I grab my keyboard shortcut and I come right up here and I click and I drag over top of all of the column matrices, the little, the little boxes here, because I want it to run the whole way through during this section that I've already sequenced down below. And I will hit my shortcut key, which happens to be shift and the letter L. Well, when I do that, this is what happens because whenever you paste by cell, whenever paste by cell is set up over here, as, as you can see, um, whenever you paste by cell, x -Lights thinks that it should apply all effects per the cell that you have set up in x -Lights. So if you have, and it works the same way, if you had another timing track, if we had, let's say, a, uh, a bars timing track, which is a bar is in 4-4 four, four timing, it's four beats per bar. And you'll see here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If I had the bars timing selected and I did the exact same thing, shift capital L or L, you would see that it does exactly that. So what does this mean? I have to now, I have to control Z. I have to undo what I just did. Now, in what instance, what instance is that hard? It's not. Well, here's where it does get hard. What if I wanted to put a bunch of beats down here and I was just reaching across the screen like this and I put shaders down? Shaders take a little bit longer to put something down on top of. And another one might be the picture effect. If I hold shift and P for picture, we're going to be waiting a little bit here because watch and now you can see why I get a little bit frustrated with this and it and it's not x lights fault this is x lights is told to do this but what I really wish I could do I really wish I had a shortcut key that allowed me to quickly change my paste by a cell or paste by timing it would be a toggle maybe something that could be added to the key bindings I'm not sure uh, I would I would hope that it's easy to add in but uh, I you know this is one of those things that's frustrated me for a very long time in X-Lights and I just never complained about it but I, I mean the workaround is simple control Z control Z takes it all away now my shortcut key will work if I just uh, use the regular pace by uh, pace by time, select my length, do my shift L, and there's my lightning. I have that other shortcut key I showed you last week, which is control nine, and there's lightning per model overlay scaled onto the group le level, and you can see lightning going on, and we can play our sequence now, and you can see what it looks like. Well, guys, I, I, I know I kind of come across as uh, uh, grumpy about that particular thing that's in x Lights, but the truth is, you know, of all the things that I could sit here and complain about, those are the two things that I could come up with in x Lights. And, you know, I'd say the developers did a phenomenal job, and I couldn't really ask them for much more. So, uh, you know, one of the things that I always have to remind myself whenever I'm using this software is human beings made the software human beings use the software and human beings get to appreciate and enjoy the fruits of our labor when we're programming when we're setting up our show when we're doing things to really light up the community and that's what it's all about in in the end so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a huge thumbs up if you haven't done yet so hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications if you'd like a cool t-shirt just like this go to pixelprodisplays.com click on our gear and order we have two different style t-shirts one is called a titans of twinkle and the other is a pixel me this both shirts are amazing and i guarantee you're gonna love how soft they are all right, guys, if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club, where we do one awesome sequence each and every month, brand new to the store. Most of the time, we've been doing two new songs, at least for the past, oh, almost 20 months now. And we just released two new songs last week. Well, it was the beginning of the month. So 
If you haven't seen them, go head on over to pixelprodisplays.com and check them out. Guys, that's everything for me. We hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now.